Hello ladies and gentlemen. I put up a video not so long ago um, talking about various holidays that are pagan, one of them being Christmas, which it is a pagan holiday. And a lot of people responded, you know, posing it, and you know, you're entitled to your opinion because that's what it is. It's just an opinion. If you go to Jeremiah chapter 10, it specifically warns about putting up a tree with silver and gold trimmings. And what's, what's actually pretty astounding is that the chapter talks about um, how they're decked in colors of red, purple, and blue. So yesterday I was in Walmart picking up some things, you know, a little bit of groceries. And I was there with my spouse, okay, and... Um, we looked at the shelves on the on the in Walmart, and the decorations that they have are red, blue, and purple. Most of them, <clears throat> a few are green. And Jeremiah ten um, mentions this. Also, um, I noticed uh, a few other things like when Jeremiah chapter when Jeremiah chapter ten says that they they were decked out, you know, wearing. Uh, clothed in, in uh, red, blue, and purple, it made me think about the Christmas elves, how they wear red, and sometimes they wear blue, and sometimes they wear purple. Even Mrs. Claus, which is satanic, and the reindeer, and Christmas decorations, the primary colors are red, blue, purple, and green, because green is also mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 10. Also mentions how the axeman cuts down the tree, takes it home, Nails it so it stands still and and decorates it with silver and gold trimmings. Jeremiah was prophesying in chapter 10 that Christmas is pagan. Okay? It's pagan. I'm not going to get into it. Check out the video I did about pagan, um, how the exposing Christmas for the pagan holiday it is. The Christmas tree is an idol. It's warned about by God not to fall into the traditions of men or celebrate men's holidays. Christmas is a man-made holiday. It has Roman Catholicism in it, uh, elements of um, Islam, of um, Drew, um, the Drew, uh, religion of the Druids. Um, it also has Hinduism in it. You have to do the research yourself. Because when you celebrate Christmas, you're making offerings to many false gods, one of them being Tammuz, the son of Nimrod, and you make an offering to Nimrod. Another one, you make an offering to um, the demon false god of the winter solstice, uh, the goddess of the earth, the false goddess of the earth, the false goddess of the harvest. You need to research this for yourself, but it is not a godly holiday. And Jesus Christ was not born on Christmas. Any scientist will tell you that. Just like they will tell you that they recently discovered that Jesus Christ is not a white man. He's indeed Hebrew. Okay? A Hebrew, handsome man. And he's very tall. Okay? And his testimonies that can attest to that fact and match that as well. The reason why I'm saying this is because if before you assume and sit there and say, oh, well, Christmas is not pagan, that it's this, that it's that, that it's godly, you need to do your research because you don't know what you're saying. God says in his word that many will perish for the lack of knowledge because they reject the lack of they reject the knowledge that he's trying to impart on you through his servants. Okay? You need to do the research yourself. If you don't want to believe me or anybody else that's trying to tell you that Christmas is indeed a pagan holiday, then what you need to do is you need to take it upon yourself to do the research. Because no matter how many people tell you that Christmas is pagan, you are not going to believe them. The only thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose to follow what man says and not believe in what Jesus Christ is telling you through his servants. So if you want to sit there and get angry because people are putting up videos, true servants of God are putting up videos, exposing Christmas for what it is. And if God uses evil agents to do his will too, don't get me wrong. You know, God will use an evil agent, you know, to expose something he wants to expose. Like for example... Christmas being a pagan holiday. Christmas is not godly, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere in the Bible does it mention a Santa Claus. You want to know what Christmas is mentioned? Where it's warned about about worshiping false gods and uh, adopt and uh, accepting and practicing the pagan traditions of man and man's pagan holidays. And there's another part of scripture that talks about don't celebrate the man's man's uh, feast or observe any days on on the designated moons by man. That means 
Moon represents night. A whole, a whole, um, not only night, the lesser light. Okay. Why does God say don't don't celebrate the feast or the moons of man? Because moon represents the lesser light, which means Satan. And the moon, you know that a lot of the occultists, when they do rituals, they always do it in the light of the moon because that represents the late lesser light. God is saying in that in that context. Not to celebrate the traditions of man or their holidays, their man-made holidays, because it's pagan. It's of the devil. It's not of God. Now, you want to sit there and get mad and get upset and get emotional, that's fine. That's your business. I can't stop you. All I know is I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate New Year's because New Year's too has elements of paganism in it. Okay? And I, I talk about that. You guys want to get mad and... Maybe because you like your little presents or because you like, you know, you're looking forward to a gift. You know, a lot of people get wrapped up in getting presents. All I hear people talk about with Christmas, I can't wait. This is what my parents are going to get me. Or I can't wait. My wife or husband's going to get me this. Or I can't wait. My friend's going to get me this. Or this is what I want for Christmas. That's all they talk about is what I want, what I want, what I want for Christmas. What about what Jesus Christ wants? Jesus Christ doesn't want you celebrating that holiday. It's pagan and you know it. You know it. It's, it. Nobody talks about Jeremiah chapter 10. When a person comes up to me and says, Christmas is not pagan, I tell them, look at Jeremiah chapter 10. They totally ignore it. It's very clear in the word of God. You cannot celebrate that holiday. And it's mentioned in the book of Isaiah too. It's all over scripture. I'm just telling you. You want to celebrate it? That's your business. That is your choice. I can't stop you. Okay? But it makes me very nauseous to hear people talking about, this is what I want. I can't wait to get this. It's about coveting. It's material things. The things of this world. You're lusting for what you want for gifts. What you, what you want to have for Christmas. That's lusting in the flesh. Coveting. Some, you want to have something. Something sometimes you can't get. That's not godly. And then, and then on Black Friday supposed to be a part of Christmas, you got people fighting over a pair of panties or a bra for crying out loud or a diaper just to get a little discount off for Christmas, for the holidays. How is that godly? That's not godly. That's a couple of nut jobs fighting over something stupid. And I'm just being I'm just being real. They punch each other, they walk away with a black eye for what? To get two dollars off a bag of diapers? For real? Come on. That's supposed to be related to Christmas too. That's inciting violence. So Christmas is not a holiday of Jesus. So stop saying Jesus was born on Christmas because he wasn't. It's nothing to do with God and you know it. You just don't want to accept that. and You don't want to see that. It is a pagan holiday. It's displeasing to God. You just want your little Christmas gifts. That's all you want. You want to get drunk. You want to eat all you want, which is gluttony, drunkenness. But you don't want to see that that's not acceptable to God. Jewish people don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm not Jewish, but I don't celebrate it. It's against God. It's not pleasing to him. So if you want to celebrate it, that's your choice. Just remember what I said, that you have every choice you make, everything that you do, everything that you say is recorded by the Most High God. And there's a, there's a consequence for every choice you make. You will be rewarded according to the choices you make.